I just went into Dustin's office and said, you've been here six weeks, we're doing a video shoot, I'm gonna put you on the spot if you're cool with it and ask you a few questions. Are you down with that? And he said, sure. So, six weeks in, what's your name and what do you do here at Mountain View Window and Door? So my name is Dustin Thomason. Uh, my official title here at Mountain View Window and Door is Advisory Specialist. Uh, that role mainly consists of assisting the trusted advisors here within the Denver area. So what drew you to Mountain View Window and Door? If you, I, I knew you were in an acapella group before uh -huh. that and radio and, and haven't been in construction. Yeah. How did the connection come to come to work for Mountain View Window and Door? Like I said, being at the radio station and a few other companies before that, um, they were mainly big conglomerate type companies and really felt like more of a number within those systems versus a person or a valued asset. So what really drew me to Mountain View Window and Door was the family atmosphere, um, the smaller business sort of side of it, um, just being able to be a part of a team that cares about one another and, and, and each person's success is dependent on how well each each one does individually. And I'm just going to put you on the spot here because if someone else is thinking about coming to Mountain View Window and Door, I think this would add a ton of value to them to say, okay, four core values, but just in short, six short weeks you've been here, I'm going to ask you, can you give me an example of those four things? Do the right thing. Yeah, so, so do the right thing. The first example that jumps to mind since we're just sort of going off the hip here is uh, when I first started, my first couple of weeks were over the breaks and the majority of, of our trusted advisors and individuals were gone on vacation and 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 sort of not here and, and not a whole lot of, of, of oversight and stuff. So there were some days where I was like, man, I wish I could, you know, sort of be on vacation too and spend time with my family. But I knew the right thing being in that introductory phase was to stay here, keep my nose to the grindstone, continue to learn no matter how frustrating it may have been at the time. Um, just, you know, when, when no one's watching, just, just always continue to hold myself to a high standard and a, and a level of excellence that I want to see myself and everybody else around me. So problem solving, I've learned a lot because um, I received the, the floor plans that I'm supposed to look at to do my takeoffs in the very early stages. So a lot of times the elevations and, and maybe the measurements on the floor plans, they don't always add up. There's windows here, but they're not marked here. Um, so using problem solving to, to sort of say, okay, does, does this window match in this room? You know, is this, is this what they meant to put here? Um, learning those and, and figuring out where things probably go, um, but making sure, you know, we, we verify them with the, with the proper sources. I've, I've learned to do a lot of problem solving on my own instead of having to walk up to Gunther's office every five minutes and say hey they left this out here they left this out here beginning to develop those deductive reasoning skills in order to, to put things together and do my job efficiently third core value two for two you're doing all great right, man all right get stuff done that's right I was getting stuff done right there right that's right and 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 I, like I said I always try and get stuff done even if it's not on my list, like like helping you or assisting Gunther or Adam through some measurements at me on one of my first days, just sort of on the fly that he needed to get out the door by the end of the day. So just being available to everyone in, in whatever fashion, whether it's the advisory side of it or you know, even if it's taking out trash and, and stuff, I know that's not part of my job description, but I'm, I've always been that kind of guy that teamwork makes the dream work and, and so uh, that's that's me. And last but not least is commitment to excellence. What do you say when I say commitment to excellence? Being on the trusted advisor and the sales side, I, I, you learn very quickly that, that these gentlemen and Melissa, uh, their, their pay and, and, and their success is based on how well they do their job and how efficiently they do their job. And so my ultimate goal would be to be in one of those positions one day. And I know that if you don't give it 100% and you don't put in the time to check the details and go over the numbers three times over again, uh, you're not going to be successful. You're not going to develop those relationships with the general contractors and the architects to continue to develop your book of business and all that stuff. So that's really been what I've taken from commitment to excellence is, is no shortcuts. Even if you feel like you've got something down pat, don't, don't trust that. Check it and check it backwards and check it three times over again. Thanks for choosing Mountain View and telling us your story just short six short weeks in. Thanks, Absolutely. Dustin. Absolutely. Thank you.